Why, there you are, Alice. We've been waiting all afternoon for you. Now the hair's run off and the teeth has gone cold. Heather, is that you? Why, of course it's me. Don't be so daft. Now, have a seat and have some tea. Come on, there you go. Don't be a piddle squawk. <laughs> oh, there you go. That'll do it. Now, tell me, where did you run off to after all? Run off to you? Heather, I had to go home. There once was an old saying to describe such a situation, but I can't seem to recall it. <laughs> oh well, time does take the best of us, don't you agree, my dear? Yes, I suppose it does. You seem different somehow, Alice, darling. Did somebody refurbish your hair? If so, they did a terrible job and looks exceptionally dreadful. That's very rude of you to say. Rude? I dare say you were late to my tea party. I suppose you're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get your feelings all in a fiddle, Alice. Now, I have a poem I'd like to share with you. I wrote it myself. <clears throat> there once was a man from Peru who had the most interesting shoe. He put it on, the night turned dawn, and the meerkats escaped from the zoo. <laughs> what did you think, my dear? Uh I missed you dearly. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. It's one of my favorites if I do say so myself. Now, you must be leaving soon. But why? Oh, Alice, there are much better things in life to be had than tea parties with an old coot like me. But I do hope you'll plan to visit from now and again. I do so and enjoy your company. Oh, I will, I promise. Splendid. Now, close your eyes and count to 256. But Hatter. Oh. I will count with you. One, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine ten. ten.